Hello everybody. Hey now. Well, what's going on this week? Well, or this week, I mean this month. <laughs> Rather, it's been a minute. Sorry about that. I have a new system I'm working on here. I'm trying to get used to. As you can see, I was probably too loud just a second there, but still getting used to it. But um, what's going on? Well, Alex Jones made it to the Howard Stern Show, and that's pretty big news there. Alex Jones got on an interview with Howard Stern and it was actually a really good interview it lasted about a hour and 20 minutes man they went on for and it was really good and uh, Howard's a good interviewer I know he does a lot of crazy stuff and he kinda goes overboard in his own respect but I mean when he does sit down and interview somebody he does good interviews and uh, he even um, asked Alex Jones about going overboard himself and if it would like push people away or turn people away and they were talking about how he doesn't really have to go that far and that's what a lot of people out here um, like you and me have been talking a lot of us have been talking about is how he pushes maybe the fear too much or maybe goes overboard and turns people away but he is an entertainer and what Howard asks him this and he, he you know and he gives a re good response and it's really good um I'll play a clip of it here for you. I finally found a good, uh, loud enough clip, I think. Uh, so I'll play a little bit of it here. And this, and this is where Al, uh, Howard is asking Alex about going too far. And Robin is um, asking him about it too. But you know what is interesting is they're kind of getting it. They know something's going on, especially Robin. Um, they know something's going on. They just don't know what. It's kind of how we were when we were first uh, waking up or whatever. But, um... They kind of get it. And then at the end, Howard starts talking about something called saltpeter. He, you know, uh, when he went to summer camp, he, there was a thing that was being talked about that they were putting saltpeter in the food to uh, decrease your sexual drive. And I heard that as well when I went to summer camp and also when I went to the Army. So it's really the whole thing about people putting stuff in your food and your water. And what, what's, what is this need to do that, you know? Why is there a need out there to put stuff in our water? Like, um, you know, you might as well come wipe our butts and change our diapers, you know, too. Oh, we're, we're, do we're doing this to protect you. We're doing this for the betterment of your health. And you let us worry about our health. Let us be free. Let us put our, what do we want in our body and the whole, everything, you know. This whole system is jacked. We need to, to basically, what we don't need to fight anybody or we just need to acknowledge what's going on you know knowledge is power and once everybody knows what's going on just put the information out there once everybody knows they'll quit playing this game they'll they'll, they'll um shun it or turn away from it stop going to corporations to buy your stuff go to the flea market or whatnot start growing food that's the biggest form of protest is growing your own food so anyway here's a clip of the uh, interview uh, with Alex Jones, Howard Stern Show. Well, theory you have about um, putting uh, chemicals in juice boxes to turn children gay. You you believe that there's yeah? Why would you want to do that? Uh, yeah, why do we want to turn everyone gay? <laughs> Uh, number one, I mean, who's behind that movement? And what chemical is there that can turn you gay? All right, now specifically, I did an hour-long show four years ago right. that got picked up, uh, a, a hour-long TV special that I did that got picked up by the Huffington Post about four or five years ago, so it's become this meme where they took out of context where I was showing literally more than a hundred articles, and I actually printed some of those off on the source for you right now. So I was reading about bisphenol A and about hydrofluorosilicic acid and several other chemicals that are in the water but also in the particular plastics that line uh, the, the juice box I was showing on air. And I said, in this whole hour-long breakdown rant slash news, 
while I'm showing all these articles and major studies about how the fish are becoming bisexual, the frogs, the amphibians are becoming bisexual, how the fish are committing suicide uh, because of the Prozac in the water, the shrimp are committing suicide. Folks, we think I'm joking, just type in shrimp committing suicide. That is pretty funny, shrimp committing suicide. Folks, I'm not joking. Good, look, I swear to God. Sometimes, Alex. Bisexual fish. Yeah, sometimes I think, I think you see the humor in some of this. I do no, believe that. Yeah. No, no, no. It's so crazy. I laugh at how insane it is. But that's so crazy. <laughs> so you think, because there seems to be... Um, uh, don't you think that your arguments are so far out there? Because you don't have to get that far out. Although i got to tell you something. When I went to summer camp, uh -huh. they used it was a, a known thing that they would douse us with a thing called saltpeter. <laughs> now, I'm not kidding. And so you know what saltpeter is? You out. saw them doing this. I didn't see them doing it. But <laughs> we were told it was to reduce our sex drive, and they put it in the uh, food. And how horny were you? Uh, it didn't slow me down. I'm, I'm so <laughs> fucking crazy when it comes to sex that, like, it... All right, so there you go. That's the little clip there of uh, the interview. Um, I'll put the link in the description area. The interview starts at about an hour in. Um, I had another video that started it right from the beginning um, but it was a real low quality audio you could barely hear it so anyway it starts about an hour in roughly go check it out I'll put the link in the description area I thought it was a real good interview um, and I think it really might have got out there to wake some people up you know because it seemed like a lot of people were accepting of the information that wasn't that far out there so there you go. That's something that's been going on. I have some other things coming up that I'm going to post later. Keep an eye out for that. Uh, check out my website, reddawnpost.com, and uh, you know, hook up with me on uh, Facebook and uh, Twitter at forward slash reddawnpost.com or reddawnpost. Forward slash reddawnpost. All right. Thanks. <laughs>